Research for Pharmacy, or EFP, is one of the seven global competence courses implemented in the outcome-based Education 2017 curriculum. EFP is conducted regularly in the third semester. It is mandatory for all students to join the course, albeit no influence to the GPA. Upon completion, students will be granted with a certificate of completion. Any discussion during the activities is done in English. There are several agendas for the seven meetings. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, ma'am. How was your day? It's great. Okay, today I would like to explain about Agenda English for Francis. In the first and second meeting, we have the studio manager. In the third meeting, making a poster. Fourth meeting, making a video. Fifth meeting, you should do presentation your poster. And sixth meeting, you should do presentation your video. And the last meeting, you should do presentation your interview with the audience. Okay, is there any question? Excuse me, ma'am. My name is Gigi. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask, when we finish this course, what will we receive? Will it affect our GPA? Okay, uh, you will get the certificate of completion and yes, it's mandatory, but no, you can on your GPA. Okay, you. is, there a, is there another question? Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. My name is Ninta. What should we do if we cannot join this course? Only when there is a valid reason. And you should to replace your absence by joining other class or doing extra assignment. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma um, before we start, who wants to take notes? Well, I can do. Ah, okay. Then, how to store medicine at home is our topic today. How should we start? Hmm, I think we should start with regulation related to storing medicine. Uh, sorry, but uh, isn't it better if we start with some potential problems first? Ah, I think so. Well, brainstorming for some problems. Okay, what do you guys think about uh, going, what is going to be a problem for storing medicines at home? Anina, do you have any idea? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I think there is a problem of storing medicine at home. Like some people may not know that actually open medicines don't follow the expiry date on the packaging. How are you, Domini? I'm fine. Okay, I'm not really well. Okay, uh, today is uh, our second class of English for, for pharmacy. Uh, Today, we would like to have a reflection lesson from each group. At the first week, uh, we, we, we have a discussion about uh, natural products uh, resource. And in, in this week, we have a reflection lesson for each, each group. And for each group, there is a 15 minutes time. 15 minutes, on, on the maximum 15 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes for reflection lesson and then uh, 5 minutes for discussion. Um, I think uh, you, all of you already prepared your question lessons. Uh, maybe please, maybe from group uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, maybe uh, please keep your, your speed uh, in front of the class. And maybe I, I hope uh, it's up to you. Please give your best in your question lesson, okay?
our mother. No. Ah, I have something for her. Hi, Hi. it's our mother. Hi, mommy. Mommy, come here. I have something for you. It's a flower. <coughs> I think I get some flu. My throat really hurt to swallow something, and the ditch come to me. Uh, I get some runny nose too. I have the... Hello. Hello, Hi. guys. <laughs> Hello, guys. Today we will make an interview with our informant. Yay! <laughs> uh, about vaccine and her life as a pharmacist. Yay! <laughs> chop, chop, chop. <laughs> Oke, okay, perkenalkan nama saya Penny Susulwati Putri, biasa dipanggil Penny. Rumahnya ada di Cenang Catur, lulusan farmasi, lulus S1-nya tahun 2013, lulus apoteker 2014, ambil S2 farmasi klinis tahun 2016, lulus 2018. Hitung ya, ya tadi ada 2019 berarti. Kalau bekerjanya 2018 di RSI PDHI Jalan Solo KM 12 tengah. Sebelum di sana sempat di RSKIA PKU Muhammadiyah Kota Gede tahun 2015 sampai 2016. Satu setengah sampai dua tahun lah di sana. Ya kalau buat vaksin sendiri kan kita tahu nih ada dari rumah sakit oh, bukan dari pemerintah program vaksin wajib bagi anak-anak gitu ya nanti mungkin teman-teman bisa coba cek usia nol itu vaksin apa yang wajib diberikan usia satu bulan dua bulan tiga bulan kayak gitu ya beberapa vaksin wajib contohnya polio kemudian ada campak kemudian ada DPT atau difteri pertusis tetanus kemudian ada apalagi hmm, apa TBC itu juga wajib kalau di samping vaksin itu kita juga punya vaksin yang bermerek intinya bukan disediakan pemerintah tetapi disediakan oleh e, industri farmasi yang kemudian dia memformulasikan vaksinnya sehingga di apa di iklan e, di iklankan atau kemudian ditawarkan dengan kondisi setelah disuntik vaksinnya adanya tidak panas tidak rewel kayak gitu ya itu menyamankan kondisi ada dan menyamankan keluarga yang perawat juga